<laughs> Good Saturday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Frozen, the vault, Texas. Good God Almighty. What's going on here? You believe this? You know, hey Google, what's the temperature in Lano, Texas? The current temperature in Lano is 24 degrees. 24. There is currently a winter storm warning in effect. With a high of 31. It, it hadn't been above freezing in two, three days. See, that's the thing we don't get in Texas. You know, usually it gets cold and then psh, warms up. Well, old dad is going to a place where it's going to be t about 17 to 20 degrees warmer on both ends. And I'm leaving tomorrow. I ain't. I, had, I got a mo motor home. You understand? <laughs> me and old Classita, baby. Get it, get it. I'm telling you, get me out of this mess. Yeah, where I'm going though, they're probably going to have a wintry mix, wintry mix on Monday, but uh, at least it gets above freezing and, and thaws it out. But it's a hell of a lot better than what's going to be here, apparently, in Lando, Texas. But anyway, good morning. Still alive in my Class C. Motorhome Classita, baby. Long time, full time RV. I got my antenna up too. See it right here? Got it. I'm getting, I'm in communication with the world, the universe. But anyway, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. Make it a goat day. Make it a good one. Yeah, because you're in charge of it. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now. Now. N O W now. C O W cow. Anyway. Yeah, hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is minus 9 degrees. There is currently a wind chill warning in effect. Wind chill? <laughs> Jeez, a low of minus 17. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is minus 12 degrees. With a low of minus 16 and a 10% chance of icebergs. But anyway, I'm going where... I'm going where the, the weather suits my clothes, so to speak. But anyway, uh, these are, this is all my gang back here. You've seen them a hundred times. <clears throat> I used to go over everybody's name every morning until I couldn't remember them. But anyway, hey Google, tell us a joke. Why does a duck have tail feathers? To cover its butt quack. A dim, this is from the joke book. A dim-witted king. Got it. Which list do you want to add that to? Dim-witted. Speaking of dim-witted, shut up. A dim-witted king was losing a territorial dispute with a neighboring monarch. As the fight wore on, he got more and more frustrated until finally he roared, Where are my two court jesters? In seconds, two jesters appeared at his side. Okay, let's continue, he said. Now that I have my wits about me. You got it? Wit, witty? You got it? That's a stretch, but not bad. Uh, here we go here. Jesse here says, just started up. Oh, this is on the car, Sparky Frozen. A lot of comments on that. Just started up and turned the defroster on for one minute. Ha, 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 ha. For it melt the ice, maybe 20, yeah, it took, it would, it would take six days and six nights that ice was about to stick. Anyway, good idea though. Thank you, Jesse. Here, Ralph P. 81 in Ocala, Florida today. Better place for the goat. Rub it in, Ralph. Rub it in. Rub it in. Rub it in. Comes the goat from outer space. The stinking goat giving you a goat kiss. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm fixing to warm up here, too. Thank you, Ralph P., another one. Yikes, that is yuck weather. You're telling me I'm in it. You know, I got two heaters on medium, and it's 62 degrees in here. Yo, uh, that doesn't happen often. Good thing. Think it is getting colder tonight for you. Yeah, it is. In the morning, it'll be 22, but I'll be out in that frozen, but I'll have it pretty well ready to go. Because today, I th hey, Google. What's the weather forecast for Lano, Texas today? In Lano today, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 31 and a low of 22. Thank Currently, you. it's 24. 
24, yeah, 31, so we don't get above freezing, but around the high, I'm going to go out and do a few things. i got to take the, the luggage rack off and add a little water to the fresh water tank, and uh, yeah, just a few little things, and then on the inside, not hardly anything, just crank old class seat up and go, but yeah, we'll leave, uh, we'll be gone for at least four or five nights to get out of this stuff. I want to miss all the bad stuff. Anyway, John Gertbach, you need a heated garage, Rusty. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't have one at an RV park. Guardian Pet Care Gym. Yep, it looks like you and the goat had a fun afternoon searching for that drain. Boy, we did. Happy you finally found it. Hope today is less aggravating. Hang in there, Rusty. Just a few more days of this crap. No, I hear you're right. The goat kiss. Thank you, Jim. Yeah, you're right. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. How do you get through bad weather? One day at a time. So I'm already two days through, seven days. So that's the way it goes. And he says, hang in there just a few more days. That's right. Thank you, Jim. Wendy McGee. Wendy McGee. Me and Wendy McGee. I've been looking diligently, Rusty. Once you get to Lafayette, Baton Rouge, you should be out of it. Stay on, south on 10. Yeah, anyway, there are places to go in Texas, but thank you, Winnie, for all those thoughts. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Not uh, appreciate, just appreciate. That's the way you do it. David Gibson. Hello, David. Stay warm, Rusty. By God, I'm trying. I'm, I mean, I wear two pair of jogging pants and all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's colder than a well digger's butt in a brass bra or something like Yeah, I know there's a lot of cold weather jokes, like, hot, like heat, too. And in fact, I, I know one about a dust storm. <laughs> a guy said the dust storm was so bad that he saw a groundhog six feet in the air digging a hole. <laughs> Jack in Florida. It's 85 degrees here in South Florida. Beach weather. Why I live here. I hate the cold. Yeah, that's the problem. Everybody lives there. It's too crowded for old dad. Yeah, but you got the, the humidity gets me. Nicholas Rickford Pavlik Grant. Get a name, Jack. Wow, freezing rain. Yikes. Yeah, I hear you. Paul S. Sparky needs a new name. Frosty. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's true. Yesterday it was frosty. But all the ice is gone off of it now. I drove it around and, and it, well, about 80% of you know, And ice is heavy because I noticed that the gas mileage is like 46.5, which is terrible. Uh, and uh, the reason was I was driving at my usual speeds. It gets it up to close to 48. <clears throat> but it's carrying about 200 pounds of ice. That's why planes crash when they get ice on the wings, the weight. Traveling with Rick, use a hair dryer. We li when I lived in eastern Pennsylvania, that happened a lot. Okay. See, we're not used to it in Texas, though, I'll tell you that. Pearl Esme, hoping all goes well and nothing freezes. Take care, Rusty. Oh, also, I'm, I'm going to have to upload this comment called apparently using the Wi-Fi here at the RV park because for some reason visible ain't online this morning. So if it is late, that's the reason. <clears throat> Got to blame somebody, huh? Uh, this is Pearl. Be out, no, it's restarted. Oh, Pearl Esme, hoping all goes well and nothing freezes. Take care, Rusty. Well, everything outside's frozen, but nothing on the RV. Don Davis, 50-50 mix of rubbing alcohol and water in a spray bottle. All righty. Hopefully I won't need that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jennifer L Z R Lazer Laser, I guess. Lazer, Lazar. The worst stuff is coming Monday in the single digits. Well it ain't coming for me, babe. Oh Rusty. Moon on. <clears throat> Somebody else can have this mess. And Blaze, the only place that's not cold is Florida. Check with Dennis what the real temp is in South Texas where he is still cold unless you're tent camping. There are was no openings to park a rig. Oh, don't worry. Old Rusty's got a spot. Don't worry. Old Rusty's got a spot. Scotty Thompson. My birthday is tomorrow, Saturday, February the 13th. I will be 30 years old, born in 1991. Well, Scotty Thompson, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Scotty. Happy birthday to you. Many more, my friend. Good luck to you. Cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty. And cool video talk. Thank you, Scotty Thompson from Wisconsin, the mass, masked bowler from Wisconsin. Ed Bodine. Water above the Thor floor won't freeze. Thor says add antifreeze where it will freeze. Jeez. Yeah, I'm going to add antifreeze to my drinking water. Sure, sure. 
Sunflower 555 USA. Texas, uh, stay warm, dry, and safe. Yeah, this is on the water drain. Yeah, of all places to put it. Yeah, every tra travel trailer I've ever had, there's a little thing underneath. You just unscrew and water runs out. So naturally, where do I look? Underneath for a little drain with a thing that screws off. Ain't one. And guess what? The people at the dealership didn't know or didn't want to tell me a big secret. The manufacturing place put, called up the schematic. They weren't sure. But anyway, we got it. Old dad figured it out. So you got to learn if you're going to live, if you're going to RV or sailboat or anything else, you better be independent. <clears throat> you better be able to fix things yourself. Or, or most of them. Fiddle footed. In very cold weather, we keep our fresh water tank full and use pump. City water freezes even with a heated hose. Our furnace keeps our water system warm. Yeah, my, the water system, the water tank is not going to freeze inside the RV, obviously. Uh, unless I just lose power or something, but no, that's that's uh, yeah. I'm going to put some water in it today, not a whole lot, because you know you take, you know it'll hold 37 gallons. You know that'd be 300 pounds nearly. I'll put about 15 gallons in there just for backup. 10, 15. James Sam's Rusty. I think you now realize our RV furnaces are alike. Mine blows directly out the front into my camper. Yeah, mine's the same way. It's the cheapest one they could find. Uh, yeah, it, blow, it, it also blows a duct into the cavity under the floor where the plumbing and holding tanks are. I don't know anything about that. I see you drained your fresh water tank. Good thing you don't want to use gas furnace. Uh, no, I use the gas furnace, but there's no vent under mine. Uh-uh. B2, B24B4. Okay. B24B4. Thanks. You're welcome. William Bingham. Also, pour some RV antifreeze in gray and black tanks. I don't have to do that because I've got heated tanks. The gray and black tanks are heated. <clears throat> yeah, it's got some neat features. Ethel Perry, smiling face. Ricky, need to repeal no studded tires law in Texas. Might be able for the trike. Ha, ha. Yeah, I hear you. Tracker of bad boys, OMG so funny. One would think the seller would show you all the valves in your 60K purchase, but they knew you'd figure it out. LOL, best wishes keep warm. That's the trick. Cover your car with a tarp. I could. <coughs> yeah, if I was going to be here, I'd probably t use that idea. No kidding. Probably would do that, but I'm going to be gone, dog. Paul S., while you're draining things... I drain your supply hose and bring it inside. Left outside, it could freeze and burst. <clears throat> Unless you leave a tap running at a trickle when it's below freezing. I leave a tap running, babe. Not just just a, just a good steady stream. Irma Padron, stay warm, Rusty. Okay. Amish Sailor, hey, Rusty. Winter isn't that bad when you have a garage to park in and a house with plumbing. A furnace and a wood-burning fireplace to snuggle up to. You're absolutely correct. Them. See, my antenna's getting it's better. I'm getting better reception. Anyway, CDL later, Lady 54. I told you to tarp it. Well, thank you for telling me what to do. Welcome to winter. Hey, that's nothing. Try 10 inches a day and 20 below zero temperature. Where's your Mr. Buddy heater? I don't have one. Uh, anyway, yeah. Thank you, CDL Lady. I'm his sailor. Hey, Rusty, why don't you get a wood-burning stove like Slim Potato Head has? Because I don't want one like Slim Potato Head has. <laughs> I want what I want. John Jackson. I don't think the water in that tank would have froze. It wouldn't. It won't. Cause I, but I thought it was underneath and exposed. See, I didn't know where the tank was. I'd never seen it. Uh, it says, buy some insulation to wrap it. No, we don't need to do that. We're fine. <laughs> Thank you for the thought. <clears throat> Myron... Benware. Typical. No support after they have your money. Man, that's true. I've known that. I've, I don't know how many how many new ones I've bought. Probably four new uh, RVs. There's no support after the sale. They forget your name, man. They don't even know who you are. And the service? Yeah, they want you to come back to the service department for sure. $200 an hour. If it's under warranty, and then they, then they have to, you have to wait forever. No. Susan Boggs. Hopefully you won't have to do that again anytime soon. I'm in Ohio and they're predicting anywhere between 2 to 12 inches of snow ice between Monday and Thursday. 
hopefully spring is on its way. Baby, I know the feeling. I'm looking forward to that warm weather. Mickey Davis, guessing your hose to the motorhome is frozen. No, it's not. I, I dripped the water and it's okay. Uh, yeah, as long as you drip the water a steady stream, it does fine. Yep. And I've got a, uh, I've got a, uh, it's a, a, a hose warmer. It's a little, it's about big around your little finger. And it puts, it's about eight watts. You plug it into a 110 outlet and just wrap and wrap it against your hose. It, it won't melt the hose. <clears throat> it doesn't get, it just gets, it just keeps it warm. Does it help? Hell yeah. Joe 9209. Wow, that's the worst that we have ever, that's the, that is worse than we have had it here in Northern Virginia this winter. Winter, I believe it. Linda Hardy. Linda Hardy. Hello. Baby, it's cold outside in Weatherford, Texas. And it's going to get lots colder by Monday. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Weatherford, Texas? The temperature in Weatherford right now is 18 degrees. Yeah, you're right. There's currently a winter storm warning in effect. It is. It is cold in Weatherford, Texas. <laughs> Esther Webb. Hel Howdy, Rusty. Welcome to our club. Missouri, for me, is 16 degrees. Very cold indeed. I see you're enjoying it. Take care, Rusty. I'm doing fine, babe. Thank you much. Dorothy Wilson on the Thor thing, the drain. If I want to know anything, I have found Google to be the most helpful place to look. Tell them what you have. Yeah, you're right. No, it's it. Uh, but I went to some Thor uh, Four Winds forums, and uh, that question had been asked, but nobody had answered it. So I did that video for that reason and posted it on YouTube. So if somebody does a YouTube search, they'll at least find that video. Mickey Davis. Hello, Mickey Davis. I agree with the previous comment. If the motorhome is heated, no way that tank will freeze. No, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right, 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 right. Yeah, and in fact, it says we use the water tank and electric water pump in our casita, drain the water hose to the trailer so it doesn't freeze. Yeah, and the casita, it's in the storage area. Yeah. UFO bunny. Yep, not fun. I could think of many things more fun than this. That's on the Sparky Frozen Sparky, but even one would, even one thing would do. Okay, stay safe, stay warm. Thank you, UFO Bunny, Raccoon Little Bear. Good information, Rusty. Don't sit too close to that fire. Yeah, I had a fire, big one, didn't I? And uh, on the when I did the Thor Four Winds video, yeah, I put it on there all the time. It, it psychologically keeps me warm. Thank you, Raccoon Little Bear. Manatee. Manatee, Manatee. Ask Miss Google if you need to drain your fresh water tank if it's inside your vehicle and you're going to have heat on. I don't need to ask Google for things I know the answer to. Thank you very much. <clears throat> it ain't going to freeze inside the RV. Well, it'd have to get really cold inside the RV, let me say that. Eli James. Eli James. Thanks for all the great comments and stay safe and I love your RV. You say that every day, Eli. I'm glad you do. Traveling Mo, Mo Traveling, seeing in the video that the tank is right there under the seat inside the RV, it will not freeze as long as it is inside of your RV. It's warm. Really? Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> Ralph Jerome, rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle, cheap way to get rid of the ice off Sparky's door. Need to be careful using warm water. Could crack or break glass. Yeah, what well, I was just using just uh, tap water. Well, actually, it was... Mm, Lukewarm. It wasn't hot for sure. And I got that I got that much sense, two cents. Anthony Hornbeck, do you have a blow dryer and an extension card? I have an extension card, but I don't have a hair dryer. What do I need it for? I only got three hairs up there. They're just all wrapped around. Two into twenty-two. That's the person's name. Thanks for the information. Seems the more you know, the more many don't know. Thank you. Two into twenty-two? Eleven. John Sparkman, and now your driveway just became a skating rink. LOL. Almost, almost, almost. But it's gravel here. You gravel driveway, thank goodness. It's safer to walk on. Kurt Porter. Hello. Got to drain those tanks. Glad to see you're getting your money's worth on the power usage in part. Thanks for the tank. Thanks for thanks for the tank tip, Kurt. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm the, believe me, I'm getting my money's worth this time because I've been running these heaters 24 hours a day, every day. Uh, we'll do three more. Billy or uh, Richard Cheese. <clears throat> I would have looked there first, and I don't even own an RV. See, this is a genius here. This guy knows where to look. Uh, that was Richard Cheese, and this is Richard Rosine. 
I have the same rig and I just leave the two screws out of the panel that sits above that tank makes it easy to get to the next time. Power on rusty. Yeah, well somebody did that favor for me. The, the screws were already out. Thor, Thor did that for me. Billy K, yesterday it was 70 and today it's in the 40s. Thanks Rusty. Anyway, <clears throat> from Central Texas on a cold morning and we're fixing to hit the road tomorrow guys. Sometime, I don't know what time, we're going to hit the road and go to a warmer place. I'm not really sure exactly where but I got a spot in mind tentative, tentatively that's going to be well let's say it let me tell you on Monday the temperature here is supposed to be 23 for a high and zero for a low and where I'm going it'll be 38 for a high and 20 for a low can I deal with that yeah and then the next day Tuesday uh, it's going to be 27 here and 17 for a low and where I'm going is going to be 45 and 43. Can I deal with that? And then 54, 33, 52, 35. Yeah, I can do that. And those will probably change a little bit. Might get a little cooler. I don't know. But no, that's that's livable. Because, you know, as long as it gets above freezing, if it gets up to 40, hello, you know, all the ice is gone. <clears throat> you know? But anyway, guys, from, did we do, we didn't do the quote button. We'll do it now. Quote button. If you're tired of starting over, Stop giving up. All right, whatever that means. Anyway, guys, from Central Texas on a cold day, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Just click on the link in the description of my videos and go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. Amazon takes care of me. It doesn't cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout. Kidney stones also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. And the only real way to lose weight and keep it off is eat less. That's it. Form the habit of eating less. But anyway, what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds, then breathe out slowly. Why? Huh? Hmm? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? You bet. Do it several times a day. And then stretch 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 swivel 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 walk 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 pedal 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 exercise your body once or twice a day every single day why because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer healthier because of that one thing and then what else stand guard at the door of your mind do not let negative nancy or negative ned get inside of your head this is your head your brain your frontal lobes your consciousness all those little Neurons in there are forming neural links, which are all your thoughts, memories, everything. So common sense says, add good ingredients. Ta-da! Use your titanium cranium to keep out negativity, as in do not watch the news. Do not watch the news. Why? Because it's just full of negativity, and the talking heads are good at getting you upset. You know, they can work on your emotions. You know, they're good. They argue back and forth and do all kind of stupid crap. Read the negativity if you have to get a dose of it, okay? Because it's the negative, and it's from all over the world. You know, it may be 4,000 miles away, and they got it on top story, you know? But anyway, having said that, <clears throat> with that in mind, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, at ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha, until next time. This may be a little slow going up, I'm not sure. But anyway, adios, guys, carry on, bye-bye.